YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Southern Cal back with another moto vlog for you. Headed over to my buddy's Greg's house. Uh, he's got one of these cooling vests uh, for the water pump that I wanted to try on and see if it fits because we're planning on uh, combating the heat for our Fort Davis trip. So he says it's a great, great product um, and he recommends it against the uh, cooling evaporating vests, um, the vests that rely on uh, water evaporation where basically if you're not familiar with those you have to like dip those in water and uh, kind of squeeze them out and then you put it on and it's supposed to keep you cool in uh, high heat temperatures as long as there's no humidity around uh, or no high humidity I should say uh, the general consensus is that those are effective but as soon as you get into high humidity like what we have here in South Texas uh, specifically that they're ineffective so I was looking at a few online I came across one brand called um, Colorado cool vest or something to that effect um, and so I did some googling and looking up some reviews on that one and it seemed like it would be the best option for a second option if I can't afford one of these water pump cooling vests or if it just doesn't work out for me or doesn't fit me that's the most important thing uh, I usually wear a 3x in most garments um, and I think this one is it says it it's one size fits all from like a small up to a 2x so I'm just kind of uh, curious whether it'll fit me or not for a six to seven hour trip through the heat of South Texas. So I'm headed over to my buddy's house to uh, check that out. Uh, hopefully it'll fit and uh, hopefully I'll like it and uh, if so maybe I'll get one. If not that Colorado cool vest is probably going to be my second option. Um, but you guys, if you know anything about them or have any ideas what you do to keep cool, uh, I, I'm also getting a um, clockwork seat shipped. It should be here next Wednesday. Um, I'm getting the uh, lower version, which is a 14 to 16 inch, I believe. Do it in neutral here. And. Um, That should give me some more airflow. Won't be a cool breeze, but it'll be airflow. So that combined with a good cooling vest should, should keep me okay through the Texas heat. I also have a, a tank bag that I'll use, and I have a three liter uh, Camelback bladder that I use. I've used it before on a two hour trip through the, the heat of Southwest Texas, and that kept me hydrated. So I'll use that with ice water I'm sorry, with ice and uh, Powerade. And that'll be my uh, my rehydration pack for the trip to uh, Fort Davis. So I've got hydration figured out. I just need to get the cooling vest figured out. Um, and when the windshield gets here, those three things should be good enough for me. I mean, what, what can you do? It's gonna be hot, you know, can't avoid that. Um, I'll be in full gear, my mesh, jacket that I always wear, my trusty mesh jacket, um, which does flow good air, and it should be even better with that uh, lower windshield and a nice cooling vest underneath. So, would you guys leave me some comments if you have any ideas or comments or observations, and let me know what you, what you guys do to keep cool in the heat on a long distance ride. Alright, I appreciate y'all. Uh, I may give an update. Oh man, so uh, got to chill with my buddy Greg for a little bit. 
tried on the uh, comp cooler or comp cooler vest. Uh, it was a size M, which is rated for small to 2X. I put it on. Um, it was a tight fit, but it's supposed to be. It was a very stretchy material. And it's got these little uh, tubes. They're like plastic uh, tubes that run the water through it to circulate the water through the vest. Um, put the ice pack in the bladder. Closed it up and I put my uh, jacket on. And then I put my, uh, put the backpack with the actual ice pack over my jacket. Sat on the bike. Um, and that thing was cooling me off. It's pretty hot out here right now. Uh, it's close to 100 degrees right now. Uh, and uh, that thing, that thing works flat out. I mean, my, my back was cool. I could feel that immediately actually the cooling effect on my back uh, it was awesome so I, <laughs> I immediately got on Amazon and wouldn't you know they had one left in stock so I ordered that bad boy quick uh, and made sure I checked out quick and got that last one uh, before somebody else snagged it because I guess with all the you know the summer heat coming they're, they're selling them things probably like hotcakes so yeah, man, I got me one. It's on the way. It should be here, hopefully uh, by Tuesday, which is be which will be in time for my um, my ride out of town on Friday. So we're good to go. We're all set. Um, I'm just trying to figure out uh, what options there might be for my wife. Um, she doesn't ride as much as I do, so. I don't think she's going to need anything that serious. Um, she'll have the option of riding with uh, my buddy's kids if need be because they're going to be in a, in a car. So if it gets too hot for her, she could probably just hop off and hop in the car with them. But um, yeah, man, that thing is definitely a good investment. Um, I can't wait to get mine. And, get to cooling off I'll be using that thing every day that I ride this summer because there's no reason not to use it it definitely works as advertised anyway I was just updating you guys really quick let y'all know what the verdict is okay <laughs> anyway that's all I got for you guys today it's your boy Southern Cal, and I'm out.